Good morning. Um, so I'd like to talk to you about natural immune boosting and its application for respiratory viruses. Uh, so natural immune boosting is an idea that dates back to the 1960s that re-exposure to a pathogen while your immunity is waning can boost your immunity back up to, to full levels and prolong immunity. And it seems to be quite important for a variety of endemic childhood diseases. And you can model it quite simply in a model like this where we all start susceptible, over time we become infectious and then we recover. And then from there we can either continue waning, waning, waning and we go back to susceptibility or we get re-exposed and we come back to the start and we're immune for a bit longer. And like I say, this has been done for things like pertussis, um, varicella, measles, oh, wrong way. Um, but no one's really looked at it before for respiratory viruses where immunity tends to wane much more rapidly. So we're interested in what would happen for a disease where immunity only lasts maybe one or two years. And what you find is that as you turn up the amount of immunity, so if you go from the left-hand plot to the right-hand plot, you get bigger and bigger oscillations. And this is because each time there's an outbreak, you get a bigger and bigger proportion of the population gets kept in the immune compartment. And then between the, um, between the outbreaks, suddenly everyone simultaneously becomes susceptible over quite a short period. So you end up repopulating the susceptible compartment between um, epidemics, then you have another epidemic, and then you become all immune. And so you, it cycles like this. And what you end up finding is, um, if you look at this bottom plot here, this is without any seasonal effects on the transmission of RSV. We can find, or actually if you look at the top plot, these are recorded RSV cases in Scotland from before the COVID pandemic, during the period when we were locked down, we weren't allowed to do anything and no one got infected. And then you see the rebound infections at the end. And you, you can replicate this either by having a really big seasonal effect on transmission. So this is a 20% change over the course of the year in how infectious RSV is, or by having absolutely no seasonal effect, but a really big amount of immune boosting, and also by something in between. And so what we found so far is from population level data, you can't really distinguish between, between these plots. So immune boosting is... I think our conclusion would be our immune boosting is consistent with the data, but just from these population level models, it's not yet definitive whether this is more likely to be due to seasonal forcing or due to immune boosting.